We are here this evening with Garment of Praise. Oh my God, it's been 2016 prophetic revival, and my, what a prophetic revival it was. And I just want to thank you, the Pastor Andre Crowder, uh, First Lady, or Pastor Andre, I mean, Marsha Crowder, <laughs> and Aaron, the anointed um, man of God that just ushered in the presence of God with the singing. Uh, we're just so excited about what's happening. So tell us a little bit uh, about the prophetic. Uh, uh, the prophetic revival and, and what's, you know, what started it? Well, we, we normally have it um, every year and uh, the Lord was just dealing with us again about having it in January. And uh, our theme is uh, dealing with love. And it's just live out victory every day. And uh, Lord laid on our heart to, to invite Prophetess uh, Lisa and Prophetess Lyons and the uh, Lord has just really been moving prophetically. He always gives us a theme in the beginning of the year. And uh, he always speaks to us prophetically to get folk through for, uh, to that, uh, that upcoming year. Amen. Yeah. But you know, the word of God says that he will not allow anything to take place in the earth except he be yes. yes. through his prophets. And yes. he's looking to see a man that will stand and, and, and deliver and decree his word. So I'm just so grateful that you have answered that call and have said yes to him yes. in doing so. So God mm -hmm. tell me, you said the theme is love. So and I saw that quite a few young people and, and families yes. that, that were here this evening. So tell us about a little bit more about God and the praise. I'll be the, well, first of all, you, you, you named it, God had you named it the right thing. You're, you're living up to yes. the Declaration of Garment of Praise. But tell us a little bit more about the ministry. Our, our vision is uh, for the come, the come who God has called them to be. Mm -hmm. And you see, we have a lot of young people. That's part of our niche. Uh, we love you. And uh, we know that God is, is dealing with them in this end time. He's very strategic. Yes. Um, and it is important. The church is born in power. And we will leave out of here. Ooh, so, uh, God and praise out. We're in time prophetic ministry mm -hmm. and uh, we're a healing station. Amen. And uh, we, we call to broken families. And when folk come in, they feel the presence of God. Mm -hmm. And we want them to be able to experience the power of the presence and the love. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my pastor. Hey. Go <laughs> so, she can, she, I'm sure she can expound more on that. Go oh, pastor. <laughs> background is uh, youth ministry so um, it just seems like they just drawn to us. I think it's because I look so young. Absolutely. <laughs> that might be one way. They they probably. They, they the the just We have this young <laughs> co-pastor. Yeah. I just got to be a part of this ministry. <laughs> That's yeah. what I really think it is but. <laughs> <laughs> Now, let me talk to Aaron about your singing. When you first opened your mouth, I got chill. I said, oh my God, this voice, this, I mean, I know the world would love to get a hold of you. Because it's just so anointed, but why did you choose to, to serve God with your gift? Well, um, when I was young, it was just kind of like, you didn't really have a choice in my household to <laughs> sing, but to sing for God, you know. It, well, let me not put it that way. It was my parents just, fed me and my siblings the word of God just like all the time. So it was like, you know, I just kind of grew up loving God. So it just felt right. And I, and they taught me certain things about gifts and stuff. So I, at a young age, I already knew that it came from God, you know, the ability to sing, you know, to be, to be able to bless people with my gift. That's all from God. So what better way to do it than to, you know, bless the people. God, you know, in church. So do you write songs? Do you like songs? I don't. <laughs> I've, oh, you haven't I've shared them yet. I've written. I don't write. Okay, okay. I've written before, but I don't, I don't write. Okay, so don't you know any songs that they performed or that? Uh, no, no, I've never. You don't feel much to share those? It's not that I don't want to. It's just, okay, just not the season. Yes, there we okay. go. Okay, well, we're going to believe God for that season. Amen. Okay? Amen. Because I'm going to share with you what he shared with me. Right. It's got to be yourself. Wow. Because God wow. gave, oh man, see, I'm someplace else, i got to wrap it up. But because he gave it not to you, he gave it through you. Wow. Amen. For somebody else, for this generation. Yes. Because they have need of what God placed in you. Amen. So, um, Amen. 
So wow. that, you know, that, that I have interrupted that to come okay. back. But tell us how, how we can get in touch with you. Well, give us a little bit of information, how we can get you up your website, um, the address of um, your services. The website is www.gopministries.org. Um, you also can go to our Facebook page, which is uh, Government Praise Ministries. Uh, I also have a pe uh, Facebook page, which is Pastor Andre Crouch, and my beautiful wife has a Facebook page, uh, Marshall Crouch. So, uh, and Aaron Crouch has a Facebook page, too. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, also, uh, concerning Aaron singing, the late and great Sheila Stewart was his PR manager. Wow. And she would uh, just expose Aaron to a, a broader scale, uh, a bigger platform. And we just we just thank God for her as well. He's also a classical singer. He doesn't like us to talk about it, but he's really good at it. <laughs> but we we will we will keep you in prayer. <laughs> 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 the, 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 the 